reaction to Iran, where days after an attack on the Natanz nuclear facility, Iran has said that it will now begin enriching uranium to 60% purity. This is the highest level of enrichment that the program has ever seen. Up until now, Iran had been enriching uranium to a purity of about 20%. Now, this is a technical step towards what is described as a weapons-grade level of a nuclear material. The enrichment is scheduled to begin as soon as tomorrow. And Iran suspects that it is Israel that is behind the attack on its nuclear facility, although Mossad, through sources, has made it abundantly clear that it was responsible. The announcement of uranium enrichment marks a significant escalation. This could result in further action by the tiny state of Israel. In fact, the Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu has vowed to never allow Tehran to obtain what he describes as a nuclear weapon. Details about the weakened attack of the Natanz nuclear facility remain very scarce. It was initially described as a blackout and an accident in the electrical grid feeding, above ground workshops and underground enrichment halls. But later, the Iranian officials began referring to it as a cyber attack. Now, Iran insists that its nuclear program is peaceful, although the Western nations insist that Tehran has organized a nuclear program for military purposes until the end of 2003. However, the deal prevents Iran from having enough of uranium stockpile to be able to pursue a nuclear weapon.